Welcome to this eVault Education Services Technology video. This video describes our Delta Pro technology and how it works. eVault software has three features that provide fast and efficient backups and restores. We'll discuss each of these features. Quick File Scanning, or QFS, is a proprietary technology that reduces backup time and allows backups to complete using shorter backup windows. When a backup job is run, QFS scans all the files that are part of the backup job in order to identify only those files that have changed since the last backup. Only files that have changed need to be backed up again. Every file system type supported by an eVault agent includes both files and file metadata. File metadata includes such information as the file name, file permissions, file size, the last modified date, and the file owner. To determine if a file has changed since the last backup, QFS compares each file's last modified date to the date and time of the last backup. The advantage of using the file metadata is that the file metadata is available in every file system type that an eVault agent might have to back up. Microsoft Windows has an archive bit in its NTFS file system that is used for much of the same reason, but eVault does not depend on it. One reason is that the archive bit could be reset by the Windows Backup Program and that would negatively affect a subsequent eVault agent backup because it would reduce the list of files that an eVault agent would back up. Be aware that an eVault agent can be configured to reset the Windows archive bit to support other traditional backup software that might depend on it. Delta Pro technology reduces backup time and minimizes the amount of data to transfer over the network and store on a vault. It is also the basis for agent-side deduplication. The first backup of any new file is called a seed backup. It contains every block of the file. Subsequent backups are called delta backups and do not necessarily contain every block of the file. They are called delta backups because they consist of only the deltas or changes since the last backup. Delta Pro technology quickly finds block-level changes within the list of change files identified by QFS. eVault only backs up these small block-level changes as opposed to the whole file. This reduces backup time along with vault storage and network bandwidth requirements. When the initial seed backup is done for each file, the file is divided into 32K byte blocks. A hash value is calculated for each block and stored in a Delta file on the agent machine. The Delta file is named after the SafeSet number and has a DTA extension. For example, SafeSet 000001 would have a Delta file on the agent machined named 000001.dta. In subsequent backups, the hash value for each block is recalculated and compared to the value stored in the Delta file. If the hash value has changed, the block is backed up to the vault again. The Delta files are updated during each backup. During backups, the hash values are also compared to look for deduplication opportunities within the backup job. Because each backup has its own set of Delta files, deduplication is per backup job and not per agent. There might also be a companion file called a delta index file. They can be identified by their .dtx file name extension. For example, SafeSet 000001 might have the delta files 000001.dta and 000001.dtx. Delta index files help to increase the search speed through the delta files. By default, both types of Delta files are stored on an agent in the C program files, eVault software, the agent name, backup job name, directory. The location of Delta files on Hyper-V agent is different, but conceptually they operate the same way and provide the same benefits. Delta files are maintained for the two most recent backups. Delta files for older safe sets are removed from the agent machine. If the Delta files are ever lost or corrupted and need to be replaced, they can then be rebuilt using information stored on the vault. They are rebuilt by synchronizing the backup job with its vault using the older Windows or Web Central Control or newer Portal User Interface. The user may also choose to enable optional compression. Compressed files consume less network bandwidth than vault storage space, but compression uses more agent system resources. Different levels of compression are available in the user interface. Compression rates vary based on data type, but the average compression is 25 to 50 percent. eVault supports two different types of optional encryption, payload and over the wire. 
Payload encryption encrypts the data based on a user-supplied password. The data is encrypted before transit and remains encrypted on the vault. The latest version of Portal only offers the choice of no encryption or AES-256 bit encryption. The older Windows and Web Central Control user interfaces offered six different types of payload encryption. Payload encryption is not optional with the new Hyper-V agents or when the vault is deployed in the Windows Azure cloud. If you configure payload encryption, you are prompted to provide a password which functions as a seed value for the encryption. Do not forget the encryption password. A lost password means that existing backups cannot be restored and a new backup seed must be created. Changing the encryption password or the encryption algorithm will also result in a new seed backup, although the older backups would still be restorable using the old password. Optional over-the-wire encryption is also available and uses AES 128-bit encryption. Conceptually, it's similar to using SSL, but it is not SSL. Its use is advised when the network between the agent and the vault is not a private secured network. An eVault 1-Pass Restore dynamically combines collections of Delta backups with the necessary portions of the seed backup to allow you to restore your data as it was at a specific point in time. Unlike tape backup, there is no need to perform multiple restores for multiple backup sets. Here you can see the differences between traditional tape backup techniques and an eVault backup. With a traditional tape method, a full backup backs up the entire data set to tape. Assume that you have 60 gigs of data that you would like to back up every day. After just three days, you would have 180 gigs to manage and store, along with three sets of backup tapes to label and move and potentially copy for a higher level of protection. This can quickly become difficult to manage. For this reason, many companies choose to augment full backups with a differential or incremental backup as a way to reduce the amount of data they're backing up. Differential backups back up only the data that has changed since the last full backup. This reduces the amount of data that needs to be backed up on a given day. However, the longer the period between full backups, the larger the differential backups become. There is also the added complexity of having to use the full backup tapes and the last differential backup tapes to restore data when data is lost. Incremental backups capture only the changes since the last backup. This reduces the amount of data that needs to be backed up on any given day. However, restores are even more complex because you must use the full backup tapes and the series of incremental backup tapes to restore data when data is lost. One of the main problems with either differential or incremental backups is that they are file based. If any part of a file changes, the whole file must be backed up again. This wastes time and storage space. eVault eliminates the complexity and waste of differential and incremental backups. The first backup is a seed backup which captures all the data. After the initial seed backup, only block level changes are captured and sent to the vault. This saves time vault storage space, and network bandwidth. Restoring lost or damaged data is simple. When restoring, you simply select which day you want to restore from and the vault presents that data in its entirety without mounting or reading multiple backup tapes. This concludes this eVault video. Thank you for your time.